It took more than two years and over 50 sessions, but now she wants to walk and jump. And talk. You were skeptical. Absolutely. When Linda first opened the discussion about this, when did you become a, a believer in the technique? After I went for the first time, it was truly, truly magnificent to see that and to see Marisa as happy as she was and two loving people giving that much to a child. Come on, you help me. Come what is that like when you realize I've reached this kid nobody else was able to get through to? Don't you inwardly go, yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and sometimes we go outwardly, yes. <laughs> That's all we want for her, is for her to be happy. So when you see that, and you think back to that day in the hospital, what do you want to tell the doctors? You better go back to school. <laughs> if you measure Maurice's progress by inches, measure Joshua's by miles. What music does to his life is remarkable. We learned how to walk, we learned how to brush our teeth, we learned, basically, we learned how to eat with the spoon, picking it up. We've done it all through music, basically. But Joshua was actually lost in that world until he met therapist Alan Turi. He'll use music as a way to um, keep the world from him. Alan put it, um, better than anybody else has ever put Joshua to me in an evaluation that Joshua didn't want anyone in his world and that he had a beautiful world and he was going to teach Josh how to share it. And after 17 sessions, Robin Shaw thought she saw a miracle. Alan was playing a tune I think it was Swanee River. Oh, God. And Josh went in and played, oh, God, was that not great? Went in, not only picked up the tune, but went from key to key. And where did he get it from? Where does he get that? The man upstairs. That session, God, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Because that session made everything that I struggled for, you know? I mean, it really did. I would the running there and the paying someone $50 just to get to music and not being able to pay for the lesson made it all worthwhile. The breakthrough came two years ago, but every session remains a challenge with this little boy. Joshua tantrums. If they take too long, so they make him wait a little bit because he has to wait. And then Joshua gets his cue. He gets up, and it's a total different child that goes in there. You know, big Lord of Robbins opened the door for us to come in here and show it. He'll be going there forever. Do you feel that Joshua truly is talented musically? I think there's um, a spark of genius in him. Wow, what's, what's going on inside his head? <laughs> and he's content and he's happy when he's doing that too. The right? happiest. Really. I should think a lot of parents come here with the expectation, my child will be cured. We can't normalize. We don't make that promise. We try to unfold the abilities we can reach and develop them. So the child has more equipment for living. Go ahead, you can hold the cup. Don't try to fool daddy. What are your hopes for Marissa for the future? We just want her to be happy and healthy. That's pretty basic. Reach, very good girl. 
if you had to sum up what the music therapy has done to make the world Josh lives in a little brighter, a little more hopeful, what would you say? He's not just a little boy sitting in his own little world with his own little things. He gets into a world with other people now. I see this reaching ultimate heights, ultimate heights. And all I can say is that I love them. I love them all.